This nation has been altered with darkness upon her land, with left-wing propaganda and a reminder of history's past lessons. This constant battle of protesting against each color is not what God has planned. He who has guilt, rage, disappointment must realize that all are emotions that all have. This is why we have rules to follow that protect this land of dreams and hope. We stand, all of us, as a nation under God. We have come through many years of verbal attacks against black, white, Jew, Christian, and all religions. This is why wars erupt. There's always battles for control. How can we see such havoc in this time of our lives to destroy our police protection? These are men on duty, serving, protecting, and all who want to behave to run around stealing like criminals with no law and order. This is a disgrace to mankind. This is a disgrace to the higher power of God, our only savior, and the leader that's in office, this man, our president of the United States of America stood in this battle of destruction and protected all as his own family. He has given beyond his oath and has shown all ethnicity and all religions his loyalness, his love, and his trust to protect this country, the United States of America. Donald J. Trump has no sword for this battle he has been in. He has love and his want to achieve the highest dignity that this country deserves. And to the people of America, he has sworn to deliver this. And he has, morning, day, and night, sacrificed his life to turn this battle into a union of glory. No other president besides Lincoln faced down such radical behavior. Their job was to protect the United States of America. So let us remember the truths for which we stand, for peace and love, one nation under God, and liberty, and justice for all, and all else are excuses to destroy America, destroy good for evil, for lack of truths. Let's put away our bricks and bars. Remember how far we've come since the Civil War, how our forefathers made a truce. Let us remember this truth and not fall back, only forward with peace. As Jefferson quoted, love thy neighbor as thyself. A reminder that in November we must all vote and keep President Trump in office to keep our country safe. No other will ever be Donald J. Trump, a gifted man of truths and strength to prepare his country for greatness again. God bless.